Wakey, wakey. Okay, this isn't going to be the most fun one, but it is pretty important, especially if you want to sound intelligent talking to any British or European people over the next few years. We're going to talk about the process of the United Kingdom leaving the European Union, Brexit. So first, a little history lesson. The concept of supranationalism within Europe started in 1952 with the European Coal and Steel Community. Over the years, a number of treaties have shaped the role and the structure of the European Union. We don't have time to get into the details of all those treaties, but the important thing to note is that they're all based around the Solemn Declaration that states Europe is moving towards an ever closer union, which means exactly what you think, further integration between the member states. However, by the time we come to 2007 and the signing of the Lisbon Treaty, the mood of in Europe had changed. Gone were the days of enlargement when former communist states from Central and Eastern Europe were joining and the political climate was much more about the democratic deficit and seeking to reform the European institutions. This led to a Scottish gentleman, Lord Kerr, writing an article that changed the nature of Europe. This is the infamous Article 50. Article 50 is just over 250 words, but it sets out the way in which a country can leave the European Union and renegotiate its relationship over a two-year period. So when you think about the European Union, I want you to reflect back on why the institutions were started in the first place. This was a project designed to create peace in a continent that had just been wrecked by war. So what does the future hold? Well, due to the way Article 50 works, we simply don't know. However, the European Union is incredibly resilient. There have been many treaties where we thought no negotiation was going to get done, and with five minutes left, they somehow pulled something out. The truth is, we're just going to have to wait and see.